So a long, long time ago, the Central Park jogger, Trish Miley, um, came to me because she felt that her exercise, her running, played a significant role in her recovery. And she said, okay, do some research. So at that particular time, we were doing a large quality of life study of folks with, with brain injury. So we put in some questions about exercise. You know, do you exercise? If you do exercise, what do you do? How often, how, you know, for how long, how many times a week? And we had a group of people without brain injury. And what we did is um, looked at the folks who with brain injury who did and did not exercise, and the folks without a brain injury who did and did not exercise. And we saw that the folks who, with brain injury who did exercise reported fewer cognitive symptoms and were less depressed. Um, the, the folks without a brain injury weren't depressed and they didn't report cognitive symptoms. So that was not new because there was a lot of literature in terms of, the, of exercise being a valuable treatment in terms of depression, but it's the first time the link to improve cognitive function had been made. So we're now in the middle of doing a clinical trial where we're using two doses of exercise um, with folks with TBI. It's interesting because there's been now one study, there's been some animal work in which they've shown that exercise promotes uh, regrowth, uh, regener neural regeneration in the hippocampus, which is the area of the brain that controls memory. And there's been now one study with humans, okay, a very small sample, in which they, the folks in that study followed an exercise re regimen, and they did pre and post functional MRIs on these folks, and they showed there was increased blood flow in the hippocampus. So now we have some evidence of regeneration in that area of the brain in people without a brain injury. We're not doing the Im neuroimaging, it's too expensive, okay. but we are looking at the outcomes, we're looking at our mood, cognition, and fatigue.